and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 things to have on you that are very very convenient for the summer here in Tokyo. The summers here can get really hot and humid and for those who aren't used to that kind of weather like me, I'm from LA so I've never grown up with the four seasons first of all and second of all I never grew up in an area that was very very humid. But I've picked up a couple things and I learned to keep a couple things on me but before we get started please click the subscribe button down below if you're interested in Japanese beauty tips, cosmetics, uh, fashion, lifestyle, travel. I'm gonna be uploading more content relating to those from now on so click that if you want to see that and also the bell on on the site if you want to get notified. All right, let's get started. For those of you who didn't know, and I didn't know either, when I first moved to Tokyo was that when the seasons change, they change very drastically. When I first moved here and when it hit June, I was like, yes, summer, beach, yay. And every, like all my Japanese friends were like, no, no, it's not summer yet. It's see you which is rainy season when my friends corrected me on that i've always been kind of iffy on the topic this is because it's like sudden flash thunderstorms and one second the rain would be super heavy then the next second there's no rain whatsoever so it's very very volatile and it's very very unpredictable I think people living here don't really equate summer to that. So before taking this video, I actually asked a lot of my friends. It was still kind of in a gray area. Like the moment I ask, oh hey, does summer start in June? Everyone's first response is like, no, it's to you. Um, it's not summer. After talking back and forth, I was like, okay, so do you guys consider to you a season? They're like, no, come to think of it after spring it's definitely summer like some people explained it to me like it's a gap between spring and summer but then after a while everyone comes to the final answer that summer officially starts after summer solstice so I actually asked this question as well I know this video is not about whether or not it's to you or summer. So I actually tweeted this question out before filming. I said, hey, is this summer right now? And do you guys consider June to be summer or to you? 15% of the people said that summer starts in June, but 85% people <laughs> say that it's actually to you in June and then summer in July. Perfectly two people from each camp explained their reasoning behind what they chose from Shoe Amber 31 says that June is to you. Even right now it's still to you. There's no announcement that the rainy season is over yet by I guess the weather forecast. It's not summer yet. So the other response from Wawa Momomo says that Summer starts right after June 22nd of summer solstice. What I know it to be is that right now it is summer, but there's that overlapping rainy season from the end of spring to the middle of summer. That's about two months long. So long story short, um, for those of you who are kind of confused, when you come to visit sometime between June and July, it's so cold and it's super rainy and you can't really go outside a lot. It's because it's the rainy season still. So around mid-July to end of August is this really hot, humid summer season that everyone's talking about. So today I'm going to be introducing 10 things I think would be really useful uh, to have on you if if you're traveling or if you're living here in Tokyo so this isn't ranked at all this is divided into sections so things for heat and then for sun care bug uh, mosquito care and miscellaneous so let's get started so first off with heat care if you've never seen this before these are deodorant wipes they're really, really useful to have on you. Basically are these portable deodorant sheets. And what's really nice about them is that not only is it a wipe, not only wipes away your sweat and deodorizes anywhere on your body, it leaves this powdery feeling afterwards. So this one in particular I got is Biore's ice cold body sheets. They market it as something that lowers your body temperature minus 
3 degrees Celsius, which is quite a lot. Um, it's very minty and refreshing, and when you use it, um, it does have this cooling effect on it. These are all available in the convenience stores, but also in the drug stores as well, and you could just pick out what you want. There's ones that are non-cooling as well. Also, just like a side tip, I like to use a spray-on deodorant all over my body before I go outside, especially during the summer season. And if you guys didn't know, there's also hair deodorant for those of you who want to refresh your hair but unable to take a shower in between the day. I like using this. Also, side, side, side note, there's barely any dry shampoo available in Japan, so if you guys are traveling and like dry shampoo, you should bring your own from home. So moving on, we have this. These are little armpit pads. This is called Asewaki Patto, which is uh, ase, which is sweat, waki is armpit, and patto is a uh, pad. What these are, are these little sticky cotton pads that you can stick to the to the inside of your shirts. These are also deodorizing, so it protects your clothes and as well as having a deodorant effect. I like using these for nice clothing and clothing that I have to dry clean. I try not to stain too much of the clothing that, you know, requires a lot of money to wash. Yeah, this is actually one of my necessary items, especially when I'm wearing Lolita clothing and my more designer end clothing. It's very useful, but I use it sparingly and I tend to use this a lot when I'm traveling when I can't wash my clothes right away either. So these come in three colors that I've seen so far. There's white, beige, and black. White tends to stand out a lot against clothing. Sometimes beige is nicer. These you can get at any drugstore. So we're going towards the section of cooling off. I always, always, always carry a fan on me during the summer here. It's just really necessary if you're not good with heat. You know, just any foldable fan is very lightweight and I tend to go through one um, a summer. <laughs> like it'll get very beaten up by the end of the summer that um, it'll be broken or kind of like weird looking. So this is a new one that I got this year. And I like to attach little uh, decorations to them because you know, when what other time can you decorate stuff? So These are called sensu, uh, which is fan, but you can also get these plastic ones. And if you're walking around Tokyo, you pass by these people who are flying for their company. Like usually around the year, you'll get these little tissue packets, which are very useful as well with their little advertisement tucked inside it. Especially during the summer, a lot of places like to pass out these uchiwas. They're these just plastic and it has that stick and it doesn't fold or anything. It's just this white plastic with their um, company advertisement across like plastered on the front and back of it. They're very lightweight. They're very useful. I like to have... I might have one actually. Hold on. I had one! Here! I forgot, I tuck one into my suitcases when I'm traveling too, so it just it looks like this. Uh, this one is from AU, not sponsored, a phone company here. They have a cute little pattern on the back and it, it's very strong. So there, these are also very useful. You can find these um, being passed out all over the place during the summer and very useful. It's, it's nice to have at least one on you just in case. And for a more recent phenomenon, there's a lot of these things now. These are little handheld fans. This one was a present when I was visiting Shanghai. This one I didn't get in Japan. Especially this year, I've been seeing it all over the place. It's really nice. It's um, chargeable, USB charged, and it comes with a stand. Very useful, Very, it's pretty lightweight. I tend to throw this in my traveling bag. I should make a video on my traveling bag necessities. So we have, there's like three options here. Fans. So next we're going on to heat stroke care, which is very, very important if you've never been in this sort of weather before. So when you sweat a lot, you tend to lose a lot of electrolytes as well as water. It's good to have this. This is a sports drink. 
this is Ion Water, which is a version of Pokari Sweat, which I'm sure people have heard about it before. Pokari Sweat is just a sports drink that's very common here in Japan. They released a version called Ion Water, which is a less sweet, to me it's more refreshing, it's a lot less sugar. This will help you replenish your electrolytes and your water. Also, side note, these are really useful. I got these as like extra novelty gifts. They're all folded in these little packets that are attached to these drinks. This was for Mugicha, which is barley tea. That also has a lot of minerals and it's non-caffeinated and it's also good to drink if you're getting dehydrated. So if you don't want to go the sports drink route, you can also go the tea route. Uh, but Mugi Cha is good for, I think, <laughs> I don't know, that's what people tell me is that Mugi Cha is good for dehydration as well. It doesn't have any sugar, so you know, you could drink a lot of it. If you're gonna be, you know, walking around um, not having access to any vending machines, like when you're hiking, because vending machines are all over the place if you haven't seen Safia's video. I tend to carry around these. So Aquarius is another sports drink that's readily available in Tokyo. And this is the powder form. This is for one liter. And I can't find ones for just a regular water bottle size. But I tend to carry these around as well uh, if you have any sort, any water source. If you're carrying water like I do. If you start feeling sick, pour some of this into your water bottle and you'll be all set. I tend to have this in my bag at all times during the summer as well. I just recently picked up this in the supermarket. Oh, by the way, um, Ion Water is not available in all convenience stores and all vending machines, but you'll definitely find some sort of sports drink um, in all the places. I just prefer Ion Water. There's also a lot of different ones. There's also a very yummy one. It's lychee flavored. Um, that one's really good too. So this one I picked up in the supermarket. So this I picked up in the supermarket. I'm not sure where else it's sold yet. But they're basically sports drink tablet. And it's not... You just eat it. You just eat it as is like candy. I haven't tried it yet. But this seems to be very lightweight and easy to carry, so I'm just putting it into my emergency pack. Just in case something happens, I'll, I'll take it and I guess I'll let you know if it works. It has electrolytes, quinsome, I forgot what that is, and calcium in it. Maybe try this out too if you, if you want. Alright, so last for the heat section. This is for those of you who wear foundation. Uh, I really recommend Shu Emura's Unlimited Foundation. This is a foundation they launched this year, so it's quite new during the spring. They're telling me that it doesn't move or shift even when you wear a mask. When they launched, it was during allergy season, so a lot of people were wearing masks. When I tried out this one, it's very light and it pretty much dries down and does not shift. I went to Taiwan end of April and it was already so hot in Taiwan, humid hot. It really stayed on the whole day and it was very reliable. I really really love this foundation. It's my new favorite. It also has SPF in it which is nice. It's very thin but it's buildable. I recommend this. It's very good. We're at Shu Emura and we're gonna get some heavy duty uh, foundation. Yes. So you don't get the melty face. Hopefully. That's yes. what I'm hoping. In uh, Hong Kong and I got, Korea. Um, I got strapped in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm wearing their unlimited foundation right now too. And it does not move at all. Which sounds like a promotion, but it's not. <laughs> I definitely know that there's a lot of Japanese drugstore items available in LA. Let me know what you guys think is interesting or if you're interested in trying out. Leave all your comments down below and click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos and the bell button if you want to get notified. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!